I run if I move. I run when your prey doesn't move. I put a glue to a bunny like truth. Say something funny, your bunny. You got a bevy of shit you could groom. We like to thank you for choosing our crew. And that's from the crew you can trust. Warranty plus for fucking shit up. We are the no gooders, do gooders, known of the dancers and dealers and doers. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Man, is it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the UFC octagon tonight. Really decorated on the feet, and no surprise, he's definitely interested, Joe, in keeping this fight standing. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic tonight. Takedown defense will be a weapon of use if he can keep the fight upright. Scary for the opposition tonight. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. So the decorated submission specialist has arrived on the greatest proving ground in mixed martial arts. And even at the UFC level, not a lot of guys are used to facing submission opponents at this level. Gotta think, path of least resistance tonight is to take the fight to the ground and look to set up some of those patented chokes. Good to see a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner of this caliber where he belongs in the big show. This guy is an elite submission fighter. He has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game, and if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of five wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a special record of four wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, El Tigre. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready fight, ready. Well, it seems like this is an annual stop for the MMA leader as we are back and now underway with live action from United Center in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. The kick is there to the body. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. You landed that inside leg kick. Beautiful jab. Jabs off the left and jabs off the right. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, what a kick! Nice leg kick. Big body shot. Head kick. Oh. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Three minutes in our opening round. 
Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Front kick to the face. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are gonna start to take their effect. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. Big power shot there. Lands a kick, Joe. See if he can finish. Found the target with that left hand, Joe. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, and he goes on top of the kick. Lands oh, a hard shot hand. with the left. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, what a leg kick. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Straight right is there. Oh! Kick to the face! He's got him hurt here. He's all over him now. Oh, that's it! Wow! Wow! Big ground and pound KO! Yeah, Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent's head through the canvas, and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. And here we see it again. Ba-boom! So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.